How we doing, YouTube? Got my morning tea right here. It's a little bit of kombucha and some green tea. And my and my good old Batman trusty mug. Mm. I like to drink it while it's warm. Helps open up the intestines a little bit. So hopefully that kombucha works. Alright, so today is one month on the 2.5. Today, after this video, matter of fact, I go to the uh, 5 milligrams today. From last week to this week, there's not a huge, I don't, there's not a huge difference like there was in the first, you know, two weeks. Which, of course, like I've already said in my other videos, it's a lot of water weight. So I'll go ahead and leave. This week's and last week's. So I'll go ahead and, and again put them right here. As far as symptom wise, uh, still the cotton mouth. I, I, I don't get me wrong. It's not as bad. The the, the dry mouth. It's, it's not really as bad anymore. But it is there. And when it when it comes on, it comes on at the worst times. Like one hundred percent comes on at the wrong time. Um. As far as bloating, my bloating's still gone. My, I, or some of my bloating's gone. I still have some bloating. Don't get me wrong, but I can take my ring on and off. I mean, heck, I mean, I was a little bit thicker whenever I got married uh, a few years back. I might have to get my my wedding ring resized if I lose a bunch of weight or put a little ring guard on on the inside. So, the. <laughs> I've been going to the gym quite a bit. I've been busting my butt. I'm so sore. I mean, I can see some of my muscles changing, and I know muscle weighs more than fat, and that might be the difference in the scale because muscle does weigh more than fat. I'm not slimming. So I'm slimming in my legs, and I'm slimming in my arms, and I'm slimming right here in my chest. I'm, so far, I'm not seeing nothing here. So this week, what I'm going to go ahead and start with this week here, is, which I should have already have started, I'm actually going to start measuring. So I'm going to start doing measurements um, once a week. Uh, I'm going to do uh, belly and boobies because, I mean, I got some boobies on me. You know, I, I do. I And it's not them them nice man pegs. You know, it's not them, you know, oh, yeah, man pegs that I used to have when I was younger, whenever I was in the gym for, for over 10 years. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start measuring. I need to because I'm doing a lot of resistance training and I'm weight, you know, I'm trying not to do too much weight to build muscle because of how big I once was in the gym muscular wise. We have what we call muscle memory. So my muscles are going to try to blow back up to where they are. I want to do, so instead of doing like before when I would work out, I would do very heavy weight. So say dumbbell uh, presses, for instance. In each hand, I would put 100, 120 pounds in each hand and do my presses. And I, I'd only do like eight reps. And then I would do that three or four times. Or you go up even higher and you do it less. More weight, less to tear the muscle down to build the muscle. Well, me, I, I don't want to build muscle. I want to tone the muscle underneath the fat. So... <laughs> I want to. I don't want to build muscle. I want to tear muscle down underneath and tone it. So to tone it, what you got to do is you got to do a little bit less weight. So like right now, I'm only doing twenty, between ten to thirty pounds, depending on the machine or uh, free weight or whatever I'm doing. So I'll do like that twenty pounds, and I'll do like a set of twenty to twenty five quicker instead of slow contracting the muscle to try to break it down that way the fat will fill it in it'll help restore the muscle but it will help tone that's why resistance is uh and that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to make that resistance in there without building but i'm building my, my arms themselves which that's not going to be for these videos here to measure myself to see how muscular i get but i am good for my own i'm going to start measuring because my arms are starting i mean these back, my guns are coming back, and don't get me wrong, I I wouldn't mind being 
you, you know, bulk again, but at the same time, that's, I want to lose. I, I want to get small again, but I want to be small and lean, and I want to make sure that I don't have the saggy skin. So I uh, was saying about that, so my inner thighs, because like I said, my legs are, are getting pretty small. My arms are getting pretty small. Now on my arms, I don't have no saggy skin here. Underneath for my triceps, yes, I do have my, my, my saggy, saggy here. But e even when I do that, I mean, I still have a little, I have a line there. My lines are coming back on, on my, on the outside of the, uh, the traps here on both arms. So I am liking that I'm able to see my muscle again through that. It's been a while since I've seen my muscle there. Again, man, I was bed rested for two years and then my body got used to that. And literally the, the commercials and what the doctors have said for years, a body in motion stays in motion and the body at rest stays in rest. And even me doing YouTube videos, I'm wanting to stay at rest too much in his chair. But at the same time, I get very antsy. And, and even my neighbor's like, man, you, you, do you have like, you know, ADHD or whatever? Because I'm always outside walking around this. I, I kind of pace. No, I just, I can't sit still because I know that I'm not supposed to sit still. And that's just from when I was a little way young, a little kid to the time I got disabled, I was nonstop. I always went, I busted my butt. I worked my butt off. I, I had fun. I went places. I did everything. And then all that come to a halt because of the Lyme disease. And then all, you know, from that to the bed rest to gaining so much weight, it's time to come back down. So I have a few shirts in the closet that I, I put on once a week and I, okay, no, no. Um, other things that I see, if any of, any of you manscape or womanscape down there, you know how hard it is to try to shave down there. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about my actual junk. I mean, I can see my junk even with my belly. So... But to see, to shave and everything, it, it's, it's really hard. Um, I mean, sometimes it's so hard even to bend over because you, your gut's in the way to cut your own freaking toenails. Come on, to cut your toenails? It's hard. So things like that are getting better. Now, for the, for f the, those are some of the better parts. Uh, Energy-wise, I'm not getting all shaky and jittery and... Uh, with not eating as much throughout the day. Uh, again, I'm probably still doing it wrong. I don't eat. And there again, this is before the Manjaro. I don't eat during the day. I have my tea or, or my coffee or whatever. And actually, I only drink decaf coffee. Uh, I know a lot of y'all going to be like, yuck, how do you get anything? You still get benefits out of decaf. I just don't get the caffeine. Normally, caffeine, I get the uh, the heart paps. Hold on, I need to drink some of this before it gets uh, too cold. Ah, yeah, baby. Mm, there we go. Sometimes that kombucha, when it first hits you, damn, got a little slide there. Sometimes when you drink, uh, when that kombucha hits your tongue, it's kind of a, a soury, soury taste, but then the lemon and the citrus or whatever, whatever flavor you get of your kombucha, mm, that savory taste is nice. Mine's a mini, a mini type taste. So, for my major, major negatives, even like me and my wife, we went into the gym. I mean, I worked her butt out last night. So uh, we go in and we normally start on like the elliptical or the exercise bike to warm up. Not yesterday. I went straight to the battle rope, uh, the battle ropes. Uh, I'll try to leave a picture up right up here uh, if you don't know what battle ropes are. But uh, you get over there and you start swinging them battle ropes around and, uh, she did the first the first set, and I think there were thirty pound battle ropes, thirty or forty pound battle ropes, and uh, she's like, her eyes got real big, like, okay, maybe uh, this is a warm up. So uh, it all depends on what you're doing in the gym. I already knew that I wanted to work more of my tries. I wanted to get some cardio, but work my up, you know, this upper part. I want my boobies down as much as I want my gut down. You know what? I can fill out a shirt up top here. I'll turn to the side. I mean, my boot, I'm probably, I'm literally probably a training bra A or B cup, man. That That's insane. From going to be nice and muscular and then to look at yourself in the mirror after all this. And you know, though, I, you know, I, I can't down myself too much because I know the medical problems that I've had over the last 11 years now 
uh, since um, June 7, 2013. So, uh, yeah, 11 years. We just hit the 11-year mark. I know that there's medical problems, but then again, I know where I messed up or I let that get a hold of me. So the biggest problem for me is that calorie counting what you take in to what you put out. That's that's a big, big draw for me. I sit around here. I don't do nothing. And so, so far, I've been up for about an hour, and I've got 500 steps. I'm getting a good seven to, to 11,000 steps a day just walking around my apartment and doing. Now, don't get me wrong. When I move my arms and stuff, when you have your smart watches, it does calculate some of those as a step. So I'm probably getting somewhere about 6,000 about 6,000 steps a day. One of my biggest, biggest, biggest side effect that I have, and I literally, I, um, I set an alarm on my phone now to make sure, but dehydration. Dehydration is number one, and that's number one key to put yourself in the hospital. That's number one key to give you heart palpitations, or in my case, just starting with those battle ropes. I just barely got in the gym. I did a good stretch. I did stretch, stretch, stretch. Man, my arms, they started Charlie horsing up real super bad. Uh, I get the Celtic salt. I, I'm, I get minerals. I take creatine to help put that extra in there, which so I'm supposed to increase water. I'm getting everything, but I want to make sure that I'm drinking half of these bottles every two hours because uh, you can even buy them on Amazon, which uh, me and my wife are going to get some. But they're the half gallon uh, water bottle, and you have like 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., or 3 uh, p.m., or 1 p.m., 3 p.m., so on and so on. But how much water you're supposed to be intaking a day, and it tells you exactly which one. That way, you're not drinking a whole, like, okay, I know I'm dehydrated, I'm going to drink this whole bottle. Well, you drink that whole bottle here in about 30 minutes, you're going to pee it all back out or release whatever's in here. And you're just going to keep that cycle. And if your pee is super clear, you're doing too much. We already know that. My pee is pretty clear, but I know I'm dehydrated, but I'm getting minerals. So dehydration is a big, big one for me. Um, so dry mouth, dehydration. Again, I didn't see too much of this last one. Uh, I try to watch my calories. Uh, my wife, she really, really is watching her calories. Now, she don't have a lot, you know, uh, she don't have the medical problems that I do. But the way that I cook, I mean, I cook good. I mean, she don't cook. I cook. I'm the one disabled. I'm at home. But even before I got disabled, I, I've always cooked my whole life. I mean, I've always made made my girlfriends fat. <laughs> really and truly. I stood nice and fit, and I would make them fat. That way, you know, no other guy would want them. <laughs> That's what I joke around. No, it just so happened to be that way. I just, I like to cook. I know how to cook. I cook really, really good. Um, so one of my, da my, my daughter's favorite dishes is chicken parmesan eggplant. And we haven't had it in a while, and especially since we've been on our diet. Because I was on a diet before I ever hit the Manjaro, so I made the eggplant last night. And we're going through, you know, what the macro um, uh, calories are, what the calories, the breadcrumbs, and everything else. And, I mean, I literally, I try to do it as healthy as possible on this thing. And for two pieces of eggplant, about that big around, you know, um, about that thick, Two of them, uh, a piece of chicken, uh, one piece of uh, boneless thigh, uh, the the uh, pasta mix that I get is only it's ready for two servings in it, and I made our three plates and I still had two servings left. So and then your spaghetti sauce and then your mozzarella cheese. So when I'm sitting there doing all that and we're counting everything. As light as I could go, as best as I can find, we're still sitting there eating 900 calories for dinner. So I was like, holy heck, man. So that's where a lot of people, they don't realize. So 900. So yesterday, at the time that I ate that 900, because that was the only meal I had all day yesterday. So at the time I ate that 900 calories, I only had burned so far for the day 600 calories. I'm like... That's a, according to my watch now. Now, you know, 
we burn calories as we breathe, as we talk, as we move, as we do certain things. So we waited about an hour and a half, and then we went to the gym. You never work out right after you eat, because if you work out right after you eat, you're only working off of what you just ate. You're not working off the fat. So that's why some of the best times to eat is on a, or work out is on an empty stomach. So they say, like, first thing in the morning, you get up, you take you a cold shower, uh, the platypus tissue and everything else, things in your body, it gets it going. Uh, you drink you some green tea, and then you do a little workout. So I'll go in there, and I'm just going to pedal on the uh, – I have an exercise bike here at home. Uh, I'm going to pedal on that after this video for about 10 minutes. Just a light, light pedal, just, just to get a little bit of um, thermogenics inside my system going for the day. Because what's going to happen is, is nothing's in my stomach besides this right here. So, and the tea's not, there's no carbs or nothing in there. So, what's going to happen is, is my body now is going to start using this for my energy, and it's going to start taking it down. Well, then I become in a thermogenic, you know, inferno, basically. And inside that inferno, you start burning the fat. Well, then, you know, at lunchtime, I might eat some tuna fish or... uh as I'm kind of hungry right now, but at the same time, I don't know how quick the five milligram shot's going to take to get in my system. So as soon as, you know, I eat something, then my body will absorb that. But you got to remember, though, uh, like if you eat and then go to the gym, you're burning what's in your gut. So if you go to the gym before dinner, if that's possible for you, or if you have a treadmill or something at home, and I know you just got home from work. I know you just got from the office. You've been sitting down all day, whatever. But even just some resistance bands. If you take some resistance bands, they are literally like $10 on Amazon. Hell, I'll leave a couple of links down below. Uh, they're affiliate links, so it will help out the channel. Because uh, anything that I make on my affiliate links is to buy products so for me to do more reviews. So, <clears throat> as I don't... I mean, I've had this affiliate link program with Amazon, and I might have made $45 so far, and it's still sitting there. I can't cash out. I have mine set to $500 before I can cash out, but uh, when, once I get up to around 100 bucks, I'll go ahead and uh, set it where it goes into my Amazon account so I can buy Libby products. So like this right here, I just did a review on this one here. It, it's It'll be on um, YouTube as well today. Uh, it's, I'm finishing it up on the, on the other monitor right now to post while I'm doing this video here. Uh, I just got to make a thumbnail for it. And then I still got to make a thumbnail for this one, but no, oh man, I got lost where I was at to work. I mean, even, even if you have a, uh, a hard bust your butt job, come home or make sure you don't have no, you know, don't eat like an hour and a half to two hours before you come home. That way you're on an empty stomach. Come home, hit them resistance bands. I'm talking about 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And this is what I used to do whenever I lost all my weight. And before I got really bulk freaking 14 years ago, or when I really got huge, but there again, I was doing, you know, illegal stuff. You know, I wasn't natural. Um, but I, I worked out before I ate. I worked out after I ate. So, and that's a, a big, a big no-no though is eating before or working out after you eat. But me, whenever I do it, I just I, I would drink protein beforehand, and protein doesn't burn down as much. But you're using that for fuel for your muscles, so that's a little different. But anyways, this video has been long enough. That's just a little breakdown. Again, my major, major negatives is uh, I dehydration is number one, man. I, I can deal with the cotton mouth. I can deal with the, that dryness in my mouth, but um, this dehydration, heart paps uh, come with dehydration, Charlie horses, uh, your performance, my performance gets, you know, whether it's, you know, you want to be intimate with your wife or whatever, or husband, vice versa. If you're dehydrated, though, even if you know you want to be with your spouse like that, you're hindered because your your muscles are fatigued already and it is, it's going to be worse. I want to share my experience and I want to build a community. That's that's really and truly, that's my first goal out here is to help the community because honest reviews is what I'm about. And that's plain and simple. Honesty. 
I mean, Honest Thomas. I mean, that's probably what I should have named my channel was Honest Thomas. But I have my own way of explaining things, and that's my own ology. And that's been it was a family tease throughout my whole life. So I, it just stuck with me, Thomas with Tomology. So, but anyways, I'm Thomas. Thank you for watching. This is Thomas with Tomology. I'll catch y'all next week.